welcome to day 19. Today we've got Malina by Ingeborg Bachmann. It's the same title in English and in German, and she wrote it, this Austrian author Ingeborg Bachmann, she wrote this in 1971. And it's the narrative of a female artist uh, whose name we never know, and her troubled relationships with two men called Ivan and Alina. And she's the narrator, is a writer living in Vienna with her partner Malina, who's a calm, rational historian. And she, the narrator, is prone to bouts of mental and emotional instability, and Malina really keeps her grounded. But then she meets a young Hungarian man called Ivan and falls in love very quickly, uh, but he then rejects her. And after that, the narrative retreats more and more into surrealism. Uh, we get very vivid depictions of the narrator's dreams and of her paranoid state of mind. There's no denying that it's not an easy read, and sometimes we feel quite frustrated with the narrator and with Bachmann herself. But there are real flashes of brilliance. It's a very intense read, and it's hard to shake the sense of discomfort that it leaves you with. Interesting fact is that Bachmann described the novel as autobiographical, but not in the usual sense. So what we get is an autobiography of her mind, of her imagination, rather than a resume of the things she's done. It's available in an English translation, Malina, by Philip Bohm, so I'd really recommend this. Have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow.